they have a lot of, uh, of uh, needs. They didn't have showers nor, uh, nor toilets. So at the beginning, the government, the local government, the, the municipality helped out and they rented, they rented uh, 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 portable toilets and showers. Uh, then they took them out because of uh, the cost of it. Uh, this is a federal, federal area. Mm. This is a federal, a federal zone. Uh, the federal government hasn't intervened in here because uh, since Chaparral, um, this is Chaparral border as we know it, the Pet West, it's closed because of COVID, so they are not uh, obstructing anything. So the federal government just, you know. And are these remain in Mexico? M M not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. There's people arriving after they remain okay. in Mexico. I mean, with this with this Biden administration, they arrive. So. You have a mix of people here. There's a lot of people just recently arrived and they've been able to cross. They have been crossing at, at the rate of 15 uh, families per day. So uh, that list that they used to have is not existing anymore. They canceled that. So now they are, they are uh, as they are coming, this organization al otro lado, uh, which are just lawyers uh, from the United States, nonprofit, they, they will come and they will assess, they the census, the, 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 and they take the, the most uh, easiest cases, mm. you know, the, the ones that are more uh, prone to, to cross due to the, the status of mm -hmm. these people, and they are helping them out to, to cross. Now, the, it happened to the last month and they, they wanted to uh, they wanted to bring the, uh, the NPT program, the Remain in Mexico program, again. Uh, it, it, it supposedly they 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 uh, they kind of closed it. I mean, they, they just uh, shut it down again. But in the meantime, since there's no no uh, courts, there, there is no uh, uh, hearings because the courts are, are closed. So these people is kind of a limbo. They 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 are not here. They are not up there. Uh, two weeks ago, there was a rumor that they will be opening for them. The, the, the border will be opening for them over by where you cross. Okay. And all these people swarm over there. And they, I mean, they believe everything you tell them. So they, they swarm over there. They close the, the sentry line and the, the, the walk line. It was just a cow. So the National Guard there, there is a, a, all kinds of police there. So they they went back down. So yeah, uh, there is a lot of naiveness sometimes, and there's a whole lot of uh, uh, manipulation. They are a very vulnerable group. Police and uh, sometimes abuse them, and and uh, of course the, the the organized crime. They are just a piece. They are just a piece, uh, an easy piece for, for them. Immigration, like you, you can see, this is a truck here. It's an immigration Mexican. They are coming constantly uh, uh, just to check out the status of these people. Um, there's a lot of these guys without uh, no, no legal status here in Mexico. So uh, there's uh, groups helping them to, to get established. So Sammy, can you tell us in the United States it's very difficult to get legal status? Oh, yeah. If someone comes from Honduras to Mexico, oh, yeah. how no, difficult is that no, no, for them? No, no, they to come from Honduras to Mexico. Uh, up to this day, it's getting harder to come up here. And it, what is happening now is that we can see that we, ha we in Mexico, we, we blocked that with the National Guard and with the police in the south border. They are, we are blocking them. They, and that's because uh, since Trump administration, that was kind of the agreement, contain them, don't let them come to. But that has become a problem because uh, the business of the uh, smugglers have been increased tremendously. They are charging up to $10,000 per person. And, and as we speak, there is about 150 people in transit through Mexican territory all the way up in the, up north. So just do the math. It's, it's uh, about 10,000 people times 150, about. It's a, it's, it's a big business. So if they want to make it legal, they have to remain down in the southern Mexican border and then they will uh, 
they will they will get some sort of uh, uh, paper, but they are retaining them. That's the agreement between the government. Does this also include people from other parts of Mexico, this encampment? Yes, there's a lot of people from other parts of Mexico, yes, and, and some Haitians also. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if there, there's Haitians now. There is, has been uh, at least two caravans trying to come up to Mexico from, from, uh, from South and Central America, uh, and they have been uh, uh, dismantled. The caravans have been dismantled. Yes, uh, and, and I mean, I'm telling you, this, this happened uh, two or three weeks ago. There was a, a very aggress aggressive reaction from uh, immigration agents. The, one of these uh, agents was beaten down or he was floor. It was a national, international news. And this, this, uh, these agents were removed from the, their, demoted from the, the, their positions. I mean, there's a lot of situations happening on downtown. And uh, these guys coming up here mostly are those coming uh, uh, through the organized uh, uh, smuggling system, the enterprise, I should say. Yeah. Sammy, what's the, for those that are here in this camp right now, what are they holding on to? What are they waiting for? And is, is the Mexican government offering some kind of, here, here's the next step? Well, Mexican government cannot cannot offer anything right. at, up to this point. Other than their, the property, which has often been displaced in the past. Yes. They have been offering, we have a, a here a federal shelter, which can't harbor all these people, but they don't want to move. They don't want to go. Uh, they don't want to go. Like there. in 2018, when the other shelter yeah. opened. Yeah, they don't want to go anywhere. They, they want to remain here because they know that it, it will be easier for them yep. To, to be selected and, and just there's more hope for them if they remain here, yes. right? So yeah, I mean, Mexican government cannot offer anything but uh, for this this space. 